Roya, where have... You, Neb, are young and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable, probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the Pigeon Tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. The pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? Still fresh. The railing broke when someone went over it. <clears throat> Lot of blood. Where's the body? Charcoal gets spilled. Charcoal gets spilled. Take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap, what did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods! Ruya! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our Master of Arms. 
Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. You poor, poor girl. May you walk in the field of reeds. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come! Try! That's for you! Letter he mentioned. Was it Dimnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. Not Maketra. Neb, you look strong and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead.
No, not the Catra. The Nachtbehirt on Beck. No, not him. I would help you, but I, I, I am no match for those beasts. Whoa. Maketra. Not this. This is my wife's brother's son. He was a fool. A brave fool, but a fool. My poor Maketra! Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Maketra, your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there is no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course. I will find it. The bandits are known as the Hungry Great Ones. May the gods protect you.
No, no, it's a good idea. What if we caught some baby hippos and trained them for war? Can you imagine some stupid farmer's pets when we... <laughs> Foolish moth drawn to the flames. I can hit the target!
me get you out of there. Rats. I'll be back for you. A bit simple, are you? <clears throat> Thank you. But why did you save me? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homer, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? Whoa. Last one, I think. And make it to
Here it's a bed. Ketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Huh. <laughs> 